Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. I want us to have a look at a very interesting story. A story that is going to inform our analysis in this video. Public Service Commission shortlisted candidates for the position of the chairperson of the Commission on Revenue Allocation. And if you look at the names, let's jump down there. Interview date Thursday, 11th May 2023. The third person, Mary A.C. Wanyonyi, female Bungoma, 11 a.m. That individual has been confirmed as Wafula Chebukati's wife. So in a nutshell, Chebukati's wife has been shortlisted for the position of the chairperson of the commission on revenue allocation. And that's a story that has been causing a lot of heated political debate across the board. And the reason is simple. If you look on how William Ruto is giving jobs in his government, it's now a fact, no doubt about that, brother, no doubt about it, that William Ruto is rewarding those who campaigned for him, all those who are supporting him politically. Look at all the appointments Ruto has made. He is rewarding those who in one way or the other helped him during the 2022 campaigns. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this story in which I'll explain what this means and what it portends politically. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Yes. For Chebukati's wife to be shortlisted for a government's job, that only confirms root home is rewarding of Fula Chibukati. So it might be true, as Azimi has been saying, that 2022 presidential election was rigged. Because I've always maintained here, and it's true, Ruto is always very predictable. You just tie the dots, and you'll actually get the answer. From the appointments we have seen, Ruto is rewarding his friends, political allies, and those who stood with him. He is rewarding Chebukati for having stood with him. And that goes on to confirm that we don't have independent institutions in Kenya. Be it EACC, be it Director of Public Prosecution, Whichever, all these arms of government are not independent. And that's why it's now important for IEBC. I strongly believe that IEBC should now be structured in a way that resembles what we saw in 1997, IPPG, where the, the political parties picked their representatives. This whole aspect of pretending that we have independent institutions, that's not the case. No independent institutions in Kenya. And then something also worth noting, I'm seeing a very high possibility where William Root is really trying very hard to compromise the judiciary. And already from the kind of a ruling that came from the Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, 
it was very clear that the ruling was also skewed in favor of William Samoy Ruto. So it might be possible it was a long con, a con that IBC was part of, the Supreme Court was also part of it. It was a long con, ladies and gentlemen. And the disadvantage of such kind of appointments is that these individuals being appointed into public positions will not be able to deliver. They will not be able to deliver. And the, the reason is simple. The appointing authority is their close friend. So they feel simply because the appointing authority is someone they know, no need for them to deliver. And that's why Kenyans will still continue getting bogus services from the government. I strongly believe that this is something Kenyans should actually reject. That system, Kenyans should gang up to reject that system. And Kenyans should not underestimate their strength. If Kenyans across the board can say no, enough is enough, we, Kenyans can bring a stop to this madness we are seeing in William Ruto's government. If only Kenyans can say enough is enough, this madness can be brought to an end. If you look at William Ruto, When he was campaigning, and now as the president again, Ruto is doing the exact opposite of the things he was saying. He was talking of Mamampoga, border border hustlers, what were Vyosk. I don't just know whether Chebukati's wife is a Mamampoga. That's something that I can't just understand because Ruto said he was going to form a government with the so-called hustlers. The appointments he has made, I'm not seeing any hustler. In fact, those are billionaires and millionaires, close associates of William Ruto. So it's actually true that Ruto lied to the hustlers. He used them to get votes. Now that he got their votes, he has just literally dumped them like a hot potato. Yes, that's coming out very clearly. And that should be a lesson to Kenyans. Next time when you go to the ballot, or rather when you go to cast your vote, be very careful on the type of an individual you are voting for. Look at a leader's track record. If a leader is known to be lying, the leader will still continue lying. Even if you were to give him or her your vote. If the leader is known not to be keeping promises, even if you elect that person, he or she will not keep his or her promises to you. That's something Kenyans should know. Let me stop it there. But in case you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. If you want to support us, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. And to those watching us outside Kenya, drop your comments, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.